This video tutorial will walk you through the process of configuring your newsletter form. On the plugin, you need to log in to your contactus.com account. As you can see, there is a link that takes you directly to contactus.com login page to input your credentials to access your account. Once that is done, you will be at Contact Us main panel. If you go to Form Settings, you will find all the information about the plugin. As you can see, there is the default template for the inline form, the tab, and the mobile. Go to Configure Form to start configuring the newsletter form. So here you are able to configure your newsletter form. As you can see here, we are inputting the business name and also the website. Once you've covered that, you need to save your advance. Wait until the save successfully message and you're ready to continue. Go to Advanced Settings and you can modify the Call to Action button. As you can see here, it's changing in the moment. You can also decide which buttons are required for the subscribers to input or not. Also, you can modify this text button. As you can see here, I'm writing Sign Me Up. Save your settings again. Let's continue. Let's go to the form templates. Here, you can find all the available templates we have for you. You can go ahead and play around with the templates until you're happy with the one you chose. Scroll down to the bottom. This part is important. It says automatically open form. This is where you get to decide if you want the form to appear immediately or if you want the subscriber to click on it until it appears. Save your advance again and continue. Let's go to tab settings. Here you can find all the available templates for the tab. As you can see we have many attractive templates for you to choose from. So make sure to take your time to decide which one works best for your website. I'm choosing this one and if you scroll down you can go ahead and decide the position that you want the newsletter tab to be. So as you can see here, I'm playing around with the position of the tab. So I'm choosing the middle bottom. So save your advance again and you're ready to continue. Let's go to mobile settings. If you go up, you will find also the templates we have available for mobile form. So make sure to select the template you like best. In this part, you will be able to choose how you want your newsletter form to appear on your mobile devices. So once you've covered that process, save your settings and then you're ready to configure the Facebook mobile form. This is where you can configure how your mobile form is going to appear for your Facebook users. So click here to add the mobile newsletter form for your Facebook page. So if you want to thank your subscribers for doing it, you can configure a thank you page, which is also completely customizable. So input the text you like best. So the following step is where you need to configure where you want your subscribers to go to. In this case, we are using MailChimp as an example. As you can see, this works for all of our plugins that we have available. You can even have your leads delivered to an email address. Here you can configure also to have it delivered to your phone or any of our third-party integrations. As you can see here, the system recognizes the integration you're using. As the example, we're using MailChimp. So if you came through a newsletter sign-up plugin for one of these services, such as MailChimp, then the delivery options were set during sign-up. And here you don't need to change anything. So after you've gone through all this process, click on Save and Publish so you can see your changes live. That pretty much covers the newsletter form configuring by contactus.com.